Hello everyone, welcome to Pointing Christ podcast and this podcast will pointing Christ to all the people wherever you are and whatever you do. May this podcast will be a beneficial that as you can hear this podcast, may the Lord will continue to bless you. And today, I am John Ray from Pointing Christ Ministry and I am with my friend from Brazil, Kuya Tiago. Kuya Tiago, Hello. thank you so much for... Um, being with us this um, time. So, um, how are you, Pietago? I'm so good, and I mean, pleasure to be here. Yeah, praise thank you for Lord. inviting me to share a little bit of my life mm-hmm. and my relationship with God. Amen. And I hope this moment can make us uh, together with Jesus. Not Amen. because of me, but because the presence of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord, Kuya Tiago. So, um, welcome again to our um podcast. And this podcast, let us share Jesus Christ to the people. No, so my first question, Kuya Tiago, is um, uh, can you describe how God calls you in this kind of ministry? It was fun how God called me mm-hmm. because uh. Actually, I was I wasn't too ready for that. Uh, in Brazil, so common you be involved in the mission. Uh, every young people we are involved in holidays time. Mm-hmm. We have a special program in Brazil called Missão Caleb, mm-hmm. means Caleb Mission. So in this time, that time, uh, all the young people from the church will go to some village or mm-hmm. place and spend. 30 days, 30 days, wow. uh, doing the evangelism program. Mm. It's like the, that you hear, do here in the Philippines, but it's not just one week. It's just for, it's for 30 one month. days. Ah, yeah, one wow. Month. So I grown up in their church mm-hmm. doing like this. Every year, I spend my holidays uh, involved in that, in that mission. Amen. So for me, uh, I, Every time I consider it my, as a missionary because of that. So I wasn't like waiting for to go to go out of Brazil yeah. to, to be a missionary because in my in my mind it was like I know that God uh, called someone to to go uh, to every place and spread the message. But I know also that our mission can be in our own place, yeah. right? So I remember when I was in my church and. Because also there I was the, how can I say, the, le- leader. the, the leader, youth, of the, youth leader, yeah, mm. yeah, youth lead, youth, yeah, youth, youth, youth leader. leader, yeah. So I remember I was the the leader, and I had I had my association wow. associate, and she told me, uh, Pastor wants talk with you, mm-hmm. and I thought it was about some two girls because they had some problems yeah and i thought oh, maybe the pastor knows and the mm. pastor wants to understand mm-hmm. what is happening so uh okay i, I talked to her okay and sh- she told me he wants to talk with me this sunday mm-hmm. and when i went out to talk with pastor and the pastor told me uh as you know he in, in brazil all of us you don't speak in english that's true Why? maybe if you see some problems about my speaking yeah is because english is for me is a new language mm-hmm. it's not wow. like here uh the, the people are involved uh within english if, uh, at the school as a young people yeah. right in brazil no if you go there every scream everything is in portuguese mm. so but the the mission there is so strong so Amen. From the GC, they are trying to start like prepare young people to go out wow. and to, if you have more missionary involved mm-hmm. outside, may the, the gospel can spread faster yeah. and Jesus come. So, Amen. So that's the, pro, the, the idea that uh, GC gave to, mm. to Brazil country. And we have a state, uh, we have a... In north part of Brazil, mm-hmm. have a 
some association and we start there as a like a test mm. test all the young people yeah, yeah they choose around the country 18 people mm. and then they will make a, like a group yeah and wow. we study together during 10 months mm. uh, english wow so that's the time that god calls you in the yeah. ministry wow. but it was so fun because when the pastor told me like uh the church wants to do like this and like that mm -hmm. and he told uh when i when i was so when i received that news yeah the only person that came in my mind it was you don't mm -hmm. go there and i thought by emotion like i won't go there yeah but also i thought my friend the mm -hmm. who worked together with me in the young ministry yeah i thought she she was supposed to go with me now mm -hmm. also and I thought, oh, of course, let, let's do. If you, if you, if I have to do for God's glory, I, I yeah. will go there. Mm -hmm. And it was on Sunday. And on Monday, I went. Uh, pastor, the pastor called me, and he told uh, Tiago, you have one week mm -hmm. to prepare your stuff yourself. Wow. And and travel to Amazonas. Mm. And I thought, and you were sent there. Yeah, yeah. one week. And, Oh my God! One week. How can I explain to my family, yeah. to my parents that I will live there in one week, right? And, wow. and I felt like, oh my gosh, how can I do that? I had my job, mm -hmm. I had everything, and I, in that time, I stopped it and and I called to my friend, and I told Julia, will you go with me, right? Mm -hmm. And she told, no. Oh, Ooh. you don't. You you won't go there. No. And I, oh my goodness. And I, and I came to God and I, God, I don't want to go alone. I, yeah. I don't know if I'm prepared. And when, at the Wednesday, I, like, my mind, I was prepared to talk with my, <clears throat> how can I say, the... Your family? No. When I, when I have my job, mm -hmm. the, the, the person who contract me, who ah, employed the employer. me. Hmm? The, the employer yeah mm. i told i was trying to talk with him but i didn't have courage to talk with him yeah and and i came back to my house and i was praying and i thought god i want to go there but i don't i don't want to go alone i'm mm. scary yeah because i never left my city to go to another place like alone mm -hmm. to do like that and i knew that i will like leave, leave my family to be there alone oh yeah. my goodness how can I do it? And I will almost div, uh, give up. And uh, I remember that I entered to my... Uh, my friend at that time, they knew that I was supposed to go out. Mm -hmm. And some of them, they they got excited. Like, I, I would, if I was you, I would like to be there. Yeah. And I thought, are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and I tried to put there to go with me mm -hmm. and at the the time um, the church the north part they told that that's not available because uh it was a english course mm -hmm. the church you were paying yeah. they choose actually 18 people and it, it was closed there's mm -hmm. no more uh it's like only eight 18 people yeah if mm -hmm. you want to be involved you have to pay yeah and it was so expensive so and i was praying and i thought god if i go alone from my seat i don't want to go there i don't want mm -hmm. to go there and i i don't remember if it was on friday on thursday i was supposed to go to the pastor house to to have a, some some fun times with my friend the the son of the pastor he, yeah. he was my friend his name is victor and and i and i was think like until there, if I don't have no one to go mm -hmm. with me, I'll tell to the pastor that I, I mean, give, give, yeah, give you will not go to. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. go anymore. And I prayed. In the morning, I, 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 I went to my job. I mm -hmm. worked there. I came back lunchtime. In the afternoon, I didn't have a job that day. I, I don't remember the reason. And I was like, think well, maybe it's not my time to 
to go. go. I, I yeah. want to give up. I, I want to give up. So it was supposed to go to the pasture house around 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And at 5, I, I remember, right? Mm -hmm. Like like yesterday, like yeah. my mind. 5.24, my friend, his name is João. In English means John. Mm -hmm. He called me and he mm, told, wow. Tiago, I have a good news. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, uh, no, first, before John, another friend, his name is Victoria. Mm -hmm. And she called me and she, she told, because I tried to, to, to push all, all my friends. Yeah, like, to go. Yeah, to go. And she called me. And she, they, they called me. And, and I told, and what is happening? And they want to, they invite me to go there mm -hmm. as a free. And, and I told, oh, good. Will you go there? And she told, I was so nervous. I don't know the weirds, the reason, but I told no. Mm. And I, why why did you do that? Yeah. yeah. And she told I don't. And she was crying. And she mm. she by by the call. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why I did like that. Maybe it. Maybe I don't know. I cannot explain. But I I couldn't tell. Yes. And I and I thought. Oh wait. If you tell if you told no, it means that you have one reason. One place one like place, to yeah. free right. Mm -hmm. And let 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 let's read. After that. Another friend, he called me. His name is John, the mm -hmm. John one. And he told, uh, they called me and they told that it was supposed to be for another one. Yeah. But this person gave up and they, they gave me. Mm. And I told, oh, it was 5.24. And I, and I was like, God, thank you. But in my heart, I, I think, if... It still not be if it if it was any coincidence, mm -hmm. it's not yeah. a response from God. When I when I think like that, mm -hmm. just I just think he he called me, he told me, and I think if you be any coincidence, mm -hmm. when I turn off the, the the cell phone, my another friend he called, called me, ah. Victor, and he told that the the people from there mm -hmm. they. Uh, they told that someone, some like uh, some rich man mm -hmm. from our church, yeah. he felt in her heart mm -hmm. that, that he would like to make a donation yeah. for the for the, for the training. Yeah, for the training. Wow! And they they give it to Victor. Mm -hmm. So two people went after that, and I thought, no, it's not coincidence. It yeah. it was God. So I have to go. Amen. Uh, I have a photo, like my last Sabbath in my church. Mm -hmm. I was crying because in my heart, yeah. I was like, I would like to be in my city because mm -hmm. I love my church. I love my friends. Yeah. My, uh, I had a good job, my family. I had no problem in my city. So I was like a little bit afraid, <laughs> but I knew that it was God yeah. called me because I tried to put everything down and God put, two people to go with me yeah, so amen. i knew that it was uh, god called called me amen. and uh i left uh, my city to go to amazonas to study in english mm -hmm. and prepare myself to leave my country for the mission amen so you know Chago, sometimes god calls some people to introduce his plan for you so what i saw in your experiences is that Sometimes the Lord is telling you, not totally to yourself, but He, he used someone. He used someone to tell that, hey, I have a purpose in your life. I have, I have called you for a mission. It is very um, amazing, Kuya Tiago. And for my, ne for my next question, Kuya Tiago, can you please tell us about your daily spiritual practices? My daily spiritual practice... Uh... Sometimes I don't, to be honest, sometimes I don't fool the mm -hmm. way that I would like to do. Yeah. Maybe because our Christian life, unfortunately, is not like a line. Yeah. To go up. Sometimes, are up, sometimes up, sometimes, sometimes down. down. Yeah. But normal, normally, generally, uh, I woke up and I do my devotion now. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I spend uh, actually around one hour. Uh, I I read one chapter of the Bible per Amen. day. Amen. And to get that, to get that, I choosing like devotion now is no from the same book. It's like yeah. it's like a. Uh, I choose what I what I feel I want to enjoy. I read mm -hmm. and I read one chapter if I have time. If it's not, I just meditation in one chapter of yeah. the Bible. Uh, when I'm in my dorm, I, mm -hmm. I like to spend my time before sleep. I I listen to around six seven music. I love mm -hmm. Christian songs. Yeah, amen. And after that, I I read one chapter of the Spirit of Prophecy. Amen. And I go to sleep. That's my Amen. day life. Wow. So, you know, Kuya Tiago, when our young people will hear about your daily practices, I believe that the Holy Spirit will open their hearts because it's rare young people nowadays that their spiritual life is like that. Because most of the young people nowadays are, for example, every morning when they wake up, they just open their phones and then scroll to Facebook chat to someone some, or whatever but you know when when you feel that Christ is the center of your life you may experience a daily practices which you can have meditation first and then you can read his word and then meditation first before anything else as what um, Mrs. White says that every morning let us con consecrate our life to her, to him so yeah. um so in all of this, Kuya, do you have any spiritual role model, models? Because um, for me, my spiritual model is Paul. So mm. for you, um, do you have any um, spiritual role model and who do you think they are? I have. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's Paul also mm -hmm. from Amen. the New Testament. Yeah. Uh, maybe because he, he was so strong. Mm -hmm. I don't know the reason, but uh, a lot of things that he live he lived before i i like i i'm I identify a lot with his life yeah. uh and he's the only one that he was so honest with uh himself mm -hmm. like even though he was a lead of the church even though he was a, a strong man yeah right available to give his life to jesus Amen. But he, he still feel he he was like so guilty. He, yeah. he knew that he needs Jesus. Mm -hmm. When I when you see when he he told that uh, that he would like to to be everything for God's glory, but in his flesh he he do the difference yeah. sometimes. Like he was depending of God every time. He when he told that. Uh, he asked for God for help, and God told my my grace is enough for mm -hmm. you. I'm trying to to tell the Bible verse, but I don't have Bible verse in yeah. English. My mind that's the, <laughs> so. I, I like the the Paul. I like when he tells that we when he tells that here. Uh, I would like to. Re I don't know how can how can tell the the Bible verse in English, but when he tells like. Uh, to leave you here, uh, when he um, can you uh, can you share like in your language in Portuguese? Yeah. He tells, "Viver para mim é lucro e morrer para mim é Cristo." Mm -hmm. yeah. So he he didn't care like to be to have a good yeah. life, right? He told my leave. To live here is Christ. I want yeah. to live for Christ. I want to, I want my life, everything for Christ, not for yeah. me. And he told, if I die, it's a game. It's a game yeah. because uh, actually, in his mind, he knows that if he is die, Christ uh, he will has, resurrect. Yeah, him. he has yeah. better. He has uh, a gift. resurrection. Yeah, he has, he has gift. Resurrection. Yeah. yeah, better than this earth. Amen. So thank you so much, Kuya. So can you please um, share of any experience you have while you are in this ministry? I think and my best uh, experience that I have, it was when we went to the crusade in mm, Caraga, amen. in Baguio. Yeah. It's Baguio? Caraga? Mm? It's in Caraga, it's in Mindanao. Oh, Mindanao, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
when you went there because I was so nervous. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like struggle, struggle with my language, my English. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I was like because the the CD put us to go there to make evangelism program. Mm -hmm. So even though, like I told you, I was so involved with the mission in Brazil. Yeah, but in my I don't know language, you know, in English, mm, right? Yeah, yeah. So here it was my first uh, time preaching mm. in English. So I was wow. like, how can I do that? I'm not feel comfortable because here in the city it's easy to, to do the ministry because it's by digital. Yeah. I just need to talk with the people. Through chatting. Through chatting. Yeah. You have the program that can correct our grammar, mm. right? So it's easy. Yeah. But I will think, God, I'm not feel of, uh, how can I say, I'm, I'm not feel prepared to, mm. for to preach for yeah. this in public yeah. with my poorly English, right? I was like, I don't want to go there, I don't want to go there. Mm. I tried to convince Pastor Lex. <laughs> I didn't try to Pastor Jet. I told no, I, let me go to the highest mm -hmm. one to try to convince him. And he told, no, you, I, I trust you. And I, but I don't trust me. <laughs> and I remember when Ritesh, the people from my team, Ritesh, Aris, uh, Julie, mm -hmm. and they told me, uh, who who will speak, you or, or the Holy Spirit? And to the Holy Spirit, so don't worry. But I knew that, but I still yeah. worry, right? There's like... Um, worrying about yourself, what yeah, you're saying. Yeah. yeah. You know, I I was in fast that time mm. because, like, God helped me to 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 speak because I, I'm scary. Like, if I've been nervous, my mind will be blocked. How can I express? Yeah. Your words, uh, your ministry is not a joke. It's not a play. Yeah. It's so serious. If I got wrong, some people can can not receive mm -hmm. and accept the message yeah and i'm here and he, he i i felt and he told my my mind who called you for this mission amen praise the lord I, and i thought it was you and and i went there even though i was scared mm -hmm. uh at first time second i had some difficult to talk in english in public mm -hmm. but from the third night uh i know that even though i have my limited in english but i i i felt the holy spirit flowing in my mouth amen and god uh, spoke from there and when i was like don't ready for any uh baptism mm -hmm. because i i thought that it was, I was the only one that couldn't receive yeah. because the people, uh, the another volunteers, they are so prepared for that. But I'm if, I'm not not fair. I received then I discovered that from my church. It was thirty one baptisms. Mm, so I got. Amen. They had actually fifteen, mm -hmm. but because of the the week that I did. 16 more wow i uh, decided so i i cried a lot because i knew that it was the holy spirit not me yeah so that's why i'm here amen so i do believe kuya that the bible tells us when when christ before ascended to heaven and he said to his disciple that um my father sent me and i will send you too and don't worry because i will give the holy spirit to you amen the holy spirit will speak through you Amen. so it is very amazing we are to, to our young people to inspire them that um in in our ministry let us allow the holy spirit to speak through us you know? so my last question kuya um in conclusion so what does the gospel mean to you and uh, what is your daily verse in life that encourage you and motivate you the most first question is what does the gospel mean to you the gospel means uh, being involved in the work of God. Mm -hmm. It's to understand that God, when God calls us to be saved, it's not just to be His son, Amen. but also is to be His servant. 
Praise the Lord. Right. He, yeah. We are employed by God. All yeah. of us. When God calls us to be saved, He wants to involve us, involve us to share the grace, mm -hmm. the grace with the rest of the people. Do you know the why? Yes. Because uh, the angels, they are perfect, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. they, they see God. We cannot see God, but yeah. the angels, they can. But the angels, they cannot describe how is how is be saved by the grace. Mm, that's because cool, they yeah. didn't have like to get. They need, they don't need to be to ask for forgiveness. Yeah. They don't know wow. how to be uh, to be trans to to be dependent of the God to be transformed. Mm -hmm. But we know we have this experience. Just you and I can share with another people that they can go to the heaven. Amen. Through our our own experience. Amen. The, the angels Lord. they cannot do that. The angels yeah. can explain how God created this earth. Mm -hmm. The the angels can explain how God is His face. Yeah. But just us can explain to another sick, mm -hmm. uh, sick people. Yeah. Another weak people. How is how can you be strong when you are together with the Holy Spirit? Because you have this own experience. For so for me, the the to be involved with the, the gospel is share to the people how is good to be saved by the grace amen so you mean kuya that the gospel is the one that can um save people and can give people an eternal life yeah yeah so what for for the last question what is your daily verse in life that encourage you the most a job mm -hmm. 19 25 and 26 before we this one, let me just uh, talk about the, the gospel again. Mm -hmm. came to another thing in my mind. When you receive a good uh, food mm -hmm. and you like so much, yeah. if, you, if you are together with your friends or some people that you love so much, mm -hmm. you want to share this food with them. Yes. You don't eat alone, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, unless if you be so selfish, but if you are not, <laughs> yeah, you can share. your first thing, you, can, you want to make them like, be involved the, the the food that you're enjoying on it. Yeah. Right? It's the same. If the grace is enough and you're enjoying a lot, mm -hmm. actually you're being involved of the, the gospel because you want to share the feelings that you feel how how good and how amazing it is to be saved by the Amen. Amen. Yeah. About the Bible verse <clears throat> a job twenty nineteen twenty five twenty six says for I know that my Redeemer lives, mm -hmm. and He shall stand at last on the, on the earth. And after my skin is destroyed, this I know, that my flesh I, saw, I shall see God. Amen. So I love this Bible verse because uh, Job suffered a lot, right? Yeah. And, and it, well, while his friends, oh, they were judging him, mm -hmm. he, that the answer from Job, he told, I know that I didn't got in uh, fault. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, now I'm mean sick. I lost my family, family my treasures. Yeah, there's but, his wealth. Yeah, he lost everything. Yeah, and he told, uh, "I know my re my redeemer lives." Amen. He and he told, "After and after my skin." Is destroyed. Mm -hmm. He he believes that he actually he will die because Amen. he was leprosy, yeah. right? Yeah. So in his mind, actually he will die. He didn't read him for miracle. Amen. He he just for me if I have to die, it's okay. I ha I will die, and but this I know that I will die, Amen. but that in my flesh mm -hmm. uh, after the resurrection, yeah. resurrection, I uh, I shall see God. He, he he believed that. Yeah. So, uh, among the suffering, he kept his belief and his hope in Jesus. Amen. So this one is my preferred Bible verse because uh, I'm so sometimes stressful yeah. person. So when I have a lot of problems, small or big problems, I just when I see this Bible verse, I remember. 
doesn't matter my feelings, doesn't matter if I have to lose anything, mm -hmm. small, big. If I have this earth, I, I can support because even though I lost everything, I lose everything. And if I have to die, I know that Jesus is coming so Amen. soon. And I can... He will resurrect you. Yeah. He will resurrect you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So thank you so much, Kuya, for that wonderful encouragement, especially to our young people. So um, can you um, share like um, a short motivation to our um, fellow viewers, to our young people for their spiritual walk with Jesus? Okay. Yeah. I don't know who are watching this video, uh, but the only thing that I want to share with you is just through Jesus, you can actually be happy, totally happy. And I, I discovered that the key to be together with Jesus is being involved with your church, being involved with the mission, and be together with God every time. If you don't feel motivated to go there, force yourself to, to be that. Because even though in the beginning it's hard, I know and I'm sure by my life that the Holy Spirit, He will put the true love in your heart again. And you'll be involved with Him totally. And you will live by hope, believing that Jesus is coming soon to give to us eternal life. May God bless you. So thank you so much for watching our episode. So if you know someone who are struggling with their life, struggling doubts, and even um, struggling with their anxiety, may you share this video to them or to her or to him that this video will invite him and open your heart that as Kuyatyago experienced that how God put him in the ministry and right now he experienced the love of Jesus Christ in his life. May the Lord will continue to bless each and every one of you. And if you are new in this channel, please subscribe or please um, um, click the notification button so that you may be updated for all our uploads this coming year. May the Lord will continue to bless you. Let us point people to Jesus Christ.